What is going on guys, Sam back at with another video for you guys today. Today's video is going to be kind of exciting, it's going to be kind of similar to my last video as well, just because some of these projects are honestly insane of what they have to bring to the table. But without further ado, make sure you guys do like and subscribe down below, and make sure you guys also comment down below what you guys think of these projects, if you guys are going to be minting any of them, or if you guys dislike anything like that, um, let me know down below as well as which ones you guys really like now jumping into the video um the first project we do have is yogi's nft uh all these projects in this video i'm mentioning are going to be linked down below also shout out to nft nate i did get these projects from him from his video um and yeah so the first one is yogi's nft this is basically a community driven free collection um it's gonna be kind of like a music thing uh but they're gonna also add a p2e game coming soon so it's gonna be kind of interesting to see so they've generated a lot of hype about 133,000 followers and they just made the twitter last month they're doing a lot of giveaways and things like that um they have really good engagement as well um this is another picture uh example of what they're going to be doing so this kind of like I wouldn't want to say a three landers vibe, but it is at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. It's a really unique art style, in my opinion. Um, I actually really mess with it. It's really cool. I've never really seen this type of art before, but I do really like it. Um, I feel like these guys can honestly be a brand. Like honestly, um, they could be like they could end up being like the next three landers, small bros, cool cats, because their art is actually pretty unique. Like I actually think this could be a character on like a piece of merchandise or in a show or anything like that um but they are like getting really good engagement on their posts and i'm not sure when they're planning to mint but they do have their discord down below um and it is a free mint again make sure you guys do follow them with post notifications on just in case they release anything um for the minting but going into the second project i do have is uh dobies nft so these guys are going to do like a no roadmap no eponymous is just vibes type of thing just like invisible friends it's going to be a free mint um they can do a collaboration coming soon it's by this guy named D uh isaac dgen um he's the manager of that nft or collab manager i mean and uh this, they're doing giveaways like 50 whitelist spot giveaways these are getting really good engagement about 100 uh, and 2,000 followers in already in April, so that's pretty good. Um, if you're here, you're early, you know. This is exactly kind of the three landers' eyes. I don't know if they talk to each other about this because, like, I really don't know. It's still early in this project, so I'm not gonna like bash them or fund them or anything like that. But this, I've heard a lot of people say that these are the same eyes on three landers, and I think that's true. But I don't know if they're gonna switch up the character, what they're gonna do exactly. Um, but this is kind of how. The project is so far. Whew. Excuse me, but make sure you guys do follow them. It's actually really early, earlier than Yogi's in this one, so I'm um, keep an eye out on that. The third and final project they do have for you guys is Trap in Genesis. So this one's gonna also be a free um, uh, mint, but it's gonna have a supply of only 333 NFTs on Ethereum blockchain. The Discord is locked right now, only invite only. About 47,000 followers. You're gonna have like a We'll never do a stall launch or DM you. Okay, so yeah, they kind of have what they are gonna do already set out. This is kind of can this is gonna be kind of the art style they're gonna be using. This almost looks like a Ninja Turtle with like some armor and it, like a weapon. I really like that honestly. Um, this kind of reminds me of like the anime meta, even though it's not anime. I really like this honestly. I mess with this stuff. Um, this is actually really cool. This looks like Kakashi with like a shuriken gun. Um, but yeah, so honestly, really cool art style. Um. And it's going to be very limited. It's going to be like a Genesis collection. I don't know if they can make another one. But this is kind of giving me like Neo Tokyo vibes. Nanoverse. Project XYN. Like you know the, the gist. You know what I mean. And that niche is actually pretty good. Like if you can perform on it. So these guys I would also keep a lookout on. Make sure you guys do follow them with post notifications. I'm actually going to follow them as well here. Um, and keep them on my radar. <clears throat> but that will be all three projects I have for you guys. Again, all of them are going to be linked down, linked down below for you guys. Taking so just a quick peek at the cryptocurrency market, we're still sitting at a steady rate. We haven't really went up or down since my last video. Bitcoin at 40,000, Ethereum at 3,000, as well as the OpenSea volume. So we did see a big spike here on 16th yesterday, Saturday. Um, we had 177 million, and we haven't hit that number in a very long time here 
all the way I want to say since um, February 13th so out of nowhere we just got this big boom of um, volume I'm not sure what this was honestly because yesterday I was totally away from my computer I wasn't DJing wasn't doing anything about NFTs so I'll look into that but today we are starting off at 71 million and the day before the um, big spike we are at 66 million so that's good to see hopefully we can stay in that range of maybe 100 million a little bit in that area um, and taking also a quick peek at the open sea um, last 24 hour Ethereum volume or I mean uh, top NFTs Moonbirds performing pretty well Mew and Ape Yacht Club up a little bit here Cool Cats up a pretty good amount as well at 6 Ethereum Mizuki doing kind of solid still sitting at that 27-25 Ethereum area um, Board Apes kind of dipped down honestly uh, to 108 not too bad but that is uh, kind of how the market is kind of going right now it's like these new projects are performing good and the blue chips are like going up and down just kind of randomly I guess based on speculation and things like that project Gojira, you know their genesis their second genesis collection at 4 ethereum v friend series 2 at 1 so good and good and bad I would say nothing really to make me say this is a very bullish market right now just because again like we're seeing very low days here and then like random spikes and things like that so We'll see what happens. Very confusing times, like I always say in my videos. Make sure you guys do stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.